glass. Over to Murdoch. And then he stopped. The bridge was broken. He had, he had uh, to fly again. He flew over the, the cliff. Found Murdoch. Murdoch, are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, said Murdoch. Eagle didn't push me off the line. I have to find him, said Thomas. Then he saw marks of blood. He followed the diesels. Thomas cobbled up to die to the splatter. They trudged through the through the wreckage. And Thomas at the back. He whistled. What was that? The diesel said. Nobody knew. It was Thomas. The diesel said pushed the water tower and water tower and hooked it away. Then Thomas biffed splat. It flew them high up in the air. Airy Bert Diesel dodged and spotted a flew up in the air. Landed with a song. Thomas felt impressed. He had smashed the diesel into one big pile. He guarded them for a long time. Day and night. Day and night. And day. And night. After day and night and day and night, it was finally done. And Thomas had to get some rest. While he was carrying, the island had been repaired. Thomas brought the diesels back onto the track. What can we do? Your list of our master plan, Thomas. Easelton. Easelton was trying to get Thomas to his team. I don't want to go on. I know you're tricking me into your team, said Thomas. Me? Will make you into a statue? Nope. Not interested, said Thomas. Will make you. Hmm. Mr. Easelton thought and he saw it. I know, said Hazelton. I'll make you a huge shed for every end steamy on soda with three statues of you and three statues of Percy on it. Thomas couldn't say yes to that. Without thinking, he said yes. Aha, said Hazelton. Oh no, said Thomas. Now I have to be on their team. The diesel roared down the track. The diesel puffed in the Mapford station. They were happy. They tricked Thomas. Thomas went in with them. What could Thomas do? The diesel rumbled down the track. They blew their horn and Thomas blew his whistle. And they all stormed in one big line. Everyone. 